Hey guys, it's Slumming Rush. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to play my T100 light tank on the map Muravanka. So this one's an instant, uh, standard battle and it's basically an all tier 10 game. So what I like to do in all tier 10 games is I like to try to figure out where people go because what happens in all tier 10 games is if one tier 10 tank is like if you don't know where they are, they can catch you off guard, off guard and it's like tier 10 tanks do a lot of damage. Now, the problem is in this game, they have three lights. So for me to try to spot where I love to spot at E7 is pretty much suicide end. Like there's these two conflicting objectives, right? Like one of them is not to die and the other is to figure out where the fuck the enemy are going. So this being the popular scouting ridge, I'm not going to go there because, you know, if I had gone there, the EBR would kill me. So what I'm going to try to do instead is I'm going to try to see who's coming to the 9-0 because that's such an important side on this map. And I can get reasonable eyes by trying to sort of play these ridges here and just kind of poking up and seeing what I spot. So I'm going to surf this, try not to go too wide, and I haven't found anything. So normally by that point, I would have found mediums at least, and we haven't seen any because mediums are fast enough to get into position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check that and we see nothing, so that's really fucking weird. What that means to me is they've got a lot of fucking campers or a lot of slow heavy tanks who have taken long routes, so, you know, that's a problem. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go for this EBR because somehow no one killed him as he drove down the middle of the map. We're gonna just try to go for shots on the move, and then if we can get him killed... What the fuck is he doing, man? Who plays like this? He's so hard to hit with 200 ping on the move, but regardless, you know, it's like we spotted the zero line, there was nothing there, and then a fucking light tank, if he gets away... Okay, let's just make sure this one goes in. <laughs> those things are so hard to hit. I'll never be able to reliably hit those with 150 ping, they just move too quickly. But regardless, you know, I tried to see what was on the zero line, we found nothing, and the automatic response to that is kind of fall back, because for all you know, they have a bunch of TDs or heavies who are on their way, and those things are generally slower, so they will catch you out. Now. They're in the mid, so you can see if I'd gone to E7 with that M48 pattern there, I would have died right there, and if there's more arty in that type of situation, like, E7 works if there's no arty and a low amount of light tanks. Generally, it won't work though, so, you know, I, d I decided not to and I'm still alive. So, I'm gonna look for shots in people like this Progetto, I can s potentially shoot the side of his turret if he pokes up again, and honestly, it's likely that he will. One thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna be hella aggressive right here. You see, the way my team has deployed is such that I can only really play the zero line, and that's what we're going to actually have to focus on. It's like, oh, fuck's sake. We're just losing this side. <sighs> okay, so what's happening here? We've lost. We have not lost the zero line, but based on counting skills, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks on this side. We have three at best, and we just lost. We used to have five, we just lost two. So. Your response in a T100 lightweight light tank when you see that type of situation is to go to another side of the map because there's no sense in fighting a fight that you're going to lose. You should try to win the other side of the map because here, you know, we've got six versus two. They should just kill those two tanks while they have the numbers advantage because right now, for example, these guys are doing nothing. They're not fighting anyone. They're just sitting there. We want to push into their super conqueror and their IS-4 and get them killed before they get teammates. So I'm going to try to help out with that. Now, I don't expect to be very useful, but the main thing here is going to be to try Try to help us win the one line and if we can do that we might be able to turn the game around we have a lot of full hp tanks here so that's kind of what i'm going for now here i saw that e3 at b1 if he was alone i would have yoloed him because i feel like it would have needed to happen to win the game unfortunately they have literally two tanks there so i can't three okay so i can't go fight that what i can do is i can try to get my first shot of damage like so, get a shot into the FE, and the IS-4 might return fire, but probably not. I didn't even get spotted there, so at this point in time, it's going to be me just trying to get as much damage as I can, because it's like game over, and so what you want to do, this is a very common occurrence on this map, it's like you want to make sure you control all the way down to K4, because the enemies are going to be driving down the F line into sort of this area, and if you're in F K4, you can spot for your teammates and get side shots into the enemies who are driving basically the same way that the IS-7 and the M48 Patton are doing. So that's the objective here. It's we're going to try to hold the K4, we're going to try to spot for our teammates, and get as many shots out as possible. Okay. <laughs> Lots going on at once. Okay, so we're going to get to the side of this 50B and sh so on. We should have great shots. Looking at the map, almost all of their team didn't go down the K line, so that actually creates a massive opportunity, and if I can just leave these bushes solid, I can get a lot of shots off and try to help my teammate. Now, the problem is the T100 light tank in, you know, in everyone's experience has super shit accuracy, so you need to shoot at tanks like 50 Bs and hope that your shots go in, but that's the best we can do in this situation. The other thing could be to maybe go for already. the thing is it's, they have one already. it's not worth 
you know, the cost in HP and time and my teammates dying to go for the arty. So, you know, if there was more arty, maybe you could consider going down the K line and going to the zero line. But, you know, reason generally what happens is this position is the strongest for making the last stand. So just going to continue to put shots out. I want to get kills on people who are likely to spot me. We're never really going to reliably pin the pattern from the front. You can see it's orange basically everywhere. But the more shots we take, the more likely we are, we are to get the kill. If only I could learn to aim, man. This tank blows frequently. Oh my god, I'm so frustrated. Okay, bushes are solid, we're fine. We're just gonna keep putting shots out. I'm gonna focus the Brigetto because I can rely... <laughs> Semi-reliably pen him, it seems. There we go. Okay, and just keep putting shots out. And eventually, I'm gonna turn my tank around because my last stand is gonna have to be made somewhere to... Maybe I can get the kill? I just lower it. Good, already gets the kill. Okay, so my last stand is gonna be made somewhere in this area. Okay, he's actually going to know where I am, so I'm going to turn around. If I can hunt that FV, who is right there. Okay. All right, so what's happened here is because I went to the K-line, I'm going to be given an exit. Now, I'm not really going to shoot because I don't want that 60 TP to spot me, but this is where you could conceivably go for Artie. Now, hopefully that 60 TP didn't spot me there. Good. Okay, so now that we're out, it's like, what do you do? Honestly, I don't have a lot of experience in situations like these. Normally, I die, but what I think I can do is I'm going to look for targets that are alone. Now, one of the huge things about the T100 light tank when you're in situations like this is the speed. I can drive 70 kilometers an hour around the entire map. So what I'm going to try to do is maybe go for RD, and if possible, I'd like love to catch out a TD because the TD is going to have so much HP on him, it's going to be great for me. You know, and being full HP, I can absolutely consider soloing like an FV4005, who's just going to be so fucking slow. So we're on the hunt for someone who's out of position basically and by driving around we're going to increase our chances of finding that um they're on cap you know it's like whatever if if they're on cap i can't really do anything about it i'm never going to get a reset when they have the tanks that they do so i'm just going to make a beeline for there we go fv cut out so i'm okay taking the hit here actually the main let's see if i can avoid it okay i showed him my side because if he hit my tracks he wouldn't pen me but you know, of course, that's just the way it goes. So, so much for saving my HP, but honestly, that's a general way of how you'd go about playing this map. It's like going to K4 gives you a lot of shots. And if I was any other light tank other than the T100 lightweight, I would have had way more damage. Just the amount of shots that I fired was, you know, 18 shots, seven of them penned. Like really, I was sitting still. So that's the T100 light tank for you. There's not a whole lot you can do if you're in situations where you're shooting at tanks fronts, but you know, I made plays. I'm still able to do 2,218 damage, which honestly is great when the score is like this. And if you find yourself on Rovanka, now you know what to do. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button, and I hope to see you around. Later guys. Bye-bye.